Hi, everyone. Welcome to another Dolphin Financial Radio Show with me, Dan Wendell. Today, we're going to be talking about where to put your money. If you had money, if someone gave you 10000 or you saved $10,000, hit the lotto, found it on the side of the road, or you have money sitting in cash wondering what to do, that's what we're going to be talking about today. Where should you invest your money? I'm going to give you the answer for sure. I'm also going to bring in my co-host, Tony, to get him to give us his opinion. Tony, thanks for joining me today. <laughs> Dan. I am going to answer this question. But before I do, and before I, I get deep into this, I want a disclaimer here. I am a financial planner. I focus on retirement planning, retirement income planning in particular. So I'm not giving investment advice today because everyone's situation is different. But I want to answer this, Tony. Given the universe of investment options, where would you put your money? And for those that are listening or those that are watching this later in the future, it is July 2022. So the markets are down. Where am I going with my money now? What do you think, Tony? What well, do you think? I've got, uh, I just want to hand this to you, Dan. Here, take <laughs> Just this is it's not quite 10 grand. It's what I had in my wallet. But just if you could if you could take this and uh, where would I invest ten thousand dollars right now? I would give it to Dan Wendell. But uh, I'm not telling people to do that either. But you need to work with a financial services professional. I will be interested. I've got a couple ideas on where you might go with this. And I mean, you know, if you look at the I, I was looking at lists online and uh, there's some typical a lot of them said the same things. And of course, if you Google something like that online, most of them are sponsored and most of them list as their top three things, things that are involved, then they provide a link to click to do that to a bank or an investment firm. But there are some typical, um, there are some typical things like, um, you know, open an IRA is one or high yield savings. Um, right. High yield m- mutual funds. It was another big one I noticed on a number of lists. And then some said invest in mutual funds. Some said build a stock portfolio. Some say invest in bonds, which I, I, I laughed at that one. Um, or a ladder CDs. And I also laughed a little bit at that. But uh, there are a couple. There's the, my first thought. I'll be honest. My first thought when I said if I had $10,000, Again, I know one of the parts of the answer to this, Dan, already is it depends, because if a listener out there has high interest credit card debt, if I'm sitting on if yeah, I'm sitting default. right if I'm sitting on high interest credit card debt, what where do you invest the ten thousand dollars before you put it in the stock market or do whatever Dan's going to tell you to do? You pay off that high interest credit card debt, right? Am I right? Absolutely. Absolutely. See, I'm right. I, I you they, hate to admit it. You no, hate to no, admit that's it. an investment. Where do and you put you know, the money? Pay you off know the where I learned spent. that is do the math. Where is it going to help you financially the most? Where am I <laughs> going to make the most on that money? By paying off high interest debt first. And you're the one that taught me that. But I'm going to guess you're going to say put it in an HSA. <gasps> Ooh. Is Ooh, that was that on your list? Was no. That on- In fact, I'm not. You're. You're. I got you. I think I'm going to surprise you with mine. But oh, real estate REITs. I know are, are a lot of people suggest real estate, but I thought you would say HSA. Well, an H. The HSA Health Savings Account is my favorite investment vehicle. Right. I know it's not that. the classification, but within an HSA, you can buy stocks or bonds or. So, but I do think people that don't know what an HSA is should learn about it i'll put the show link up here because that one is worth you're right if 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 no debt right debt see you're right that's i know you dan i've done enough shows that's not my (laughs) trick answer though high interest debt hsas if you have extra money you've said that before but now are you changing your i am what's going on here so i got a list up here of some different things that people say I sure. bonds are really hot right now. We did a show recently on that. I'll put yep. that on there. They are I-bonds hot. And now paying a lot money. of advisors are recommending I bonds right now. Of course. Now you can put 10 grand in there or 15. Watch the show if you want to know more about it. But those are paying about 9.6% right now. Wow. Pretty good. Yeah. Right? 
Not not what I'm recommending. Tech stocks are getting crushed this year. Oh, yeah. the Nasdaq and stuff they're right. down so bad. It's worse than the S and P. Right. So maybe buy one because they're getting crushed. Buy it so it flies back up. But then people say sure. value stocks. Oh, we, this is those are the ones doing better. Dividend payers, right? Maybe that, that was on a lot of lists. Value stocks, real estate, precious you, you, metals. You mentioned bonds. Yeah. Um, bond prices are so interest rates are going up. So the new bonds that are people going to be issued are going to be better yielding. So down the road, maybe maybe bonds are going to be attractive again, right? Uh, cryptocurrency had its worst June, mm. uh, worst month in June 2022. Maybe that's the time to buy. Try and catch the falling knife. I mean, pick the bottom, as they say. Try um, to catch the falling knife. That is a good analogy to use with cryptocurrency. But you're mm -hmm. not recommending these specifically to anyone individually because no, there are, are no guarantees here. with any of these. My answer is not on here. Real estate, no. Gold, commodities, oil, precious metal. Do you hold it as cash? Cash is pretty cash, good right now. Cash right now. Yeah, really there's good. some we talked about there's an option out there, an investment option, the rotating, what's it called? Yeah, a tactical rotation. The tactical um, rotation investment. Right now, where's that at? Oh, in cash. In cash. No, right now. Make zero this month, oh. Sitting on the sidelines because there's no momentum anywhere. The right. momentum isn't positive in right. any asset class. Well, not I should take that back. Some asset class, but any stock asset right but when inflation is at between seven and ten percent or so you get crushing cash that's why i'm not saying hold it in cash yeah. annuities um they're coming back we did a show i'll put it up here on fixed rates coming up fixed so they more annuities. not all annuities. annuities i didn't put cds on there by the way yeah why <laughs> right, not you? all annuities i'm talking fixed annuities yeah um maybe you go variable annuity Ooh, oh, i don't know not on here food i put food on there because um you know Maybe it's time to buy seeds and start gardening because coming food shortage, it's good to have your own little garden or those prepackaged food things, the pre the meals, right? You like storage. Oil. Who would suggest oil, though, because that's at a high right now. You don't want to invest in oil right now. It's starting to come back down. Right. So, But this is you got to, you know, zig when everyone's zagging, Tony. Weapons, right? And just stock up. In case we have food shortages, some sort of crisis, a lot of talk of civil unrest, you got to protect yourself, right? I'm just I'm pointing out these are the things that people are suggesting, right? International, do you go away from the U.S. foreign currency? Invest in water. There's always going to be a shortage of water, right? Yeah, yeah. Or invest in education. Do you go back and get a degree? Invest in yourself. So that's kind of where I'm going with this, right? I'm going to give you my answer, but it's not any of those. And it's I actually saw point. I actually saw going back to school as a, an option to invest ten thousand dollars. It, it was listed on a couple lists on the on the interwebs, and I was impressed with that because they're they're trying to think outside the box. Well, I'm going to think outside the box. That's my only hint. Do you have any guess what I'm going to go with? <laughs> no, Dan. No. Oh well, I did. I guessed two, two things. <sighs> If someone gave said I have ten thousand free cash right now, I would say invest in your friends, family, social networks. Okay, stick where's with me my, for a moment. Where's my, where is my uh, sound effect for that? That's not stick with you. That's not good. What are you talking about? Yeah. That's wrong. No, hear me out. Hear me out. And this is and and you want me this, to look, give this to my best friend and then hope I see it again. This is it. So, you know, I deal with mostly retirement planning. Yeah. So most of my clients are in their fifties. Yeah. And up. Um. And the studies say, you know, money doesn't buy happiness. We've done shows on this. We've done shows on money and and happiness and where to spend your money. The successful people, the happy people in retirement, are those that have strong relationships. So why not invest in those relationships, whether it's your marriage or your partner, a friendship, building that, building your family connections, joining a social club, figuring out a hobby, a hobby. We did a show recently on the four stages of retirement in which we said people hit a wall where they become depressed because they don't have a purpose anymore, right? Watch that show. 
So putting the money where the mouth is, if I truly believe in that and saying, you know, to have a successful retirement, you need increasing income and decreasing stress. One of the ways to decrease stress is to build and have a strong social network to be around, to give you purpose and meaning in retirement. So if all you're worried about is getting a high return, should I buy gold? Should I buy stocks, bonds, real estate, crypto? That's fine. You need to invest for the future because you need income. Yeah. But the other side of the equation is you need to have strong social networks. And sometimes that takes time and money to build. And when I, when I say invest 10000 maybe you put together a family reunion or you go on a trip oh, with wow. your spouse that you've been putting off. Huh to reconnect and build those bonds that may have been kind of frittering away or. Okay. That makes sense. I'm glad you're explaining it because that makes sense. Yeah. (laughs) Invest, invest in people, invest in your life, uh, invest in happiness and uh, things that can make a lasting impact since you can't make any money in any of those things that were in the traditional lists. Why not use that money to invest in your family? That's it. That's it. And it's it's not necessarily your family. It could be your friends. And and the idea is you're not just giving money away, which is also makes people happy, right? right. But all right, you got ten thousand on the sidelines. That's not a bad spot for it right now. Right. Which of those other things are gonna hit the bottom? Which knife are you gonna catch? You can your guess is as good as mine. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I don't have the answer. Now I have for people that are investing, I do. We talk about that and I'm not giving investment advice here, but in a way I'm suggesting why not look elsewhere and right now and say, instead of just sitting on cash at the bank, why don't I take some of that and invest it in the relationships that I'm going to need to be happy in retirement? There you go. Take that 10,000 and you turn it into 20,000 over the next 10 years. That yeah, do something that your wife's going to appreciate because you're going to have to live with her in retirement because she's going to outlive you, Dan. Oh, she totally so is. You, Dan, you you take shape. that you take that ten grand and you spend it on your wife. That's my advice to you. That is good advice. Has she been wanting a kitchen remodel or that trip to Paris? Do that with the ten grand. <laughs> now, obviously, it makes a difference if somebody's sitting out there and they say, "I I have two hundred thousand dollars. I want to invest it." The answer is going to be different than you know, take 10,000 and invest it in the fam, in the family, in the family and the rest, you might want to put it in an actual investment. It's worth considering what percentage of your wealth you should invest, reinvest in the market or the investment for growth and income versus what should be invested in your social well-being or your health. Why not buy the gym membership or, or pay for the personal trainer won't that give you better dividends than buying a dividend paying stock in a technical sense no you make more money turning your money into more gives you more wealth to be able to do things later in life right but if you have no one around you to do that with because you haven't built any social structure then really what are you investing for to just have money to kind of take a bath in right i think it's, uh, I know it sounds a little out of the box and you, and you kind of gave me the look like this is crazy once I said it, but does it make sense to you what I'm saying? Like, and it's not, okay, buy that, the, the new kitchen, maybe that's it. It's more about how can I spend money to connect with the people that are going to be there with me that I want to be part of my life. Is right. there a college roommate you haven't spoken to in 10 years that you truly found a strong bond with? Um, Maybe you pay for that trip, take a week off or a weekend, pay for the flight. Oh my God, flights are so expensive. What is it worth it? What I'm saying, it might be worth it than putting a th- taking two thousand bucks to go on a weekend trip that costs you know oh that's too much money two thousand three thousand. Is that better than investing three thousand right now? It if you might look be. at it for return on your investment, yeah, from a financial perspective, of course that makes no sense. But from a long-term happiness and long-term wealth outside of money, I think it makes a whole lot of sense. Yeah. And I'd, I'd like, and I'm going to explore this going forward as to what percentage of your assets should be reinvested in non-monetary things. I don't know if there's an answer for every you know strict hard rule. Right. It's kind of like 
giving 10% to the church, right? That's kind of like, right? What if you just yep. said, give 10% to the church, give 10% for social well-being issues or yeah. building relationships? I think that's good. Yep. You always, it, you always find a way to take the a different approach and you surprise me. You surprise me once again, but this is good. It makes perfect sense. I, I'm glad I surprised you. I want to pat you, you on the good. back for this one, but I want to pat you on the back. It's more than just surprise. It's more than just looking at it from a different angle. It's actually a, a great take, I think. Well, I often say, I mean, the tagline for the company is successful retirement is about increasing income and reducing stress. And I, we don't talk enough about the stress reduction. And a lot of it is, well, if we reduce the risk in your portfolio, that'll reduce your stress. But then there's so many other stresses that come in life oh, sure. in retirement that maybe money can't solve, but maybe it can by spending some money up front to protect against that. Maybe it's buying a long-term care insurance policy. What? Pre-planning your funeral. Oh my God, what a thought. 10,000 to pre-plan my funeral, prepay it. That sounds like a ridiculous investment. But is it? Because it you takes think all that burden think. off your family. Yeah, right. it doesn't leave your loved ones in a bad situation. You know, you you to get personal, Tony. Um, this past weekend, Fourth of July, you went to a family gathering. Yep, memorial slash reunion. Yeah, family reunion and and a memorial for my father. It was money spent to get there. You had a drive. Oh, yeah. yeah, you had a good place to stay. Yep. Right. Not cheap. But it wasn't cheap, but, and you wouldn't not go because of the money oh, issue, right? Obviously. Yeah. But if, if, would you say, let's, let's I'm just going to pull a number. Let's say you put, spend two grand for your family to do all this. Would you then take that? Would you rather right now to have that two grand to then, instead of having participated in that, to invest in cryptocurrency or bonds or stocks or whatever? No. You see the value that yeah. you had it's yep. timeless it's, it's it's there's no you can't put money on it right no i'm you saying can't. why can't we think about it in the reverse put some money on it in advance knowing that it's going to pay dividends in another form later yeah All right. so that's huge that's huge a great point i mean that's a great take and i'm glad where you took that angle with this i I've, here i thought you'd uh, throw something like hsas or oh, hsa is pretty good i'm not gonna lie that's yeah. a, that was a pretty good answer that was my i think two, this but... is a better take than an hsa <laughs> that's for sure although i think my idea of paying down high interest credit card of course. Debt's good that's too, obviously, yeah. that's the easy but that's people have heard me talk about that all the time we've done yeah. shows on debt and debt reduction so a lot but, of financial people are talking about that right. i mean you and dave ramsey have the market cornered on telling people to pay off high interest credit card debt <laughs> we don't need to remind the listeners of that i suppose that's it though you know after that hsa after that it's like well which one do i invest in what about investing in yourself and your social there you connection. Go. There we go. And family and friends. Tony. I Speaking like of it. That's what we're going to do after the show. We're going out to what dinner. My treat. Let's do it, Tony. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. See you guys next week. Thanks, Tony. All matters discussed in today's show are for informational purposes only. This show is not an investment advice. Dan Whittle, nor Dolphin Financial Group are affiliated or endorsed by any government agency. Investment advisory services are offered through Dolphin Wealth Management Inc., a registered investment advisor in the state of Florida. Insurance products and services are offered through Dolphin Insurance Inc. Dolphin Wealth Management Inc. and Dolphin Insurance Inc. are affiliated companies doing businesses as Dolphin Financial Group. You should talk to someone at Dolphin Financial Group before implementing any of these strategies or ideas. Don't get any ideas, Tony. I'm not taking you off.